Good Monday morning. Good morning. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. It's February. Yes, it is. New it is. month, new yeah. uh, homework, all sorts of things. I was like, is this our first Monday of February? Yeah, yeah, it is, right? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Because our fur, the first was Wednesday? Uh, yes, it was. I don't know what day it is. It's the sixth today. No, I know what day it is. I just don't know. You know, I don't. Uh, Groundhog Day. Uh, good morning. Good morning. Do we know if uh, Mr. What was it? What's his name? That little guy. Oh, Pucks the Tawny Phil. <laughs> Tawny Phil. Do we know if Phil saw his shadow? Do you know? Did you hear? Um, I, I don't know what it means. I know that that there's like six more weeks of winter. So, so he did uh, see his shadow. Is that what that means? Here. Um, yeah, I think so. I guess we don't really pay attention to that, do we? I guess no. nobody does. It's just a silly thing, right? No, it's <laughs> ridiculous. The, the only reason why I even pay attention to that is so that I can watch the movie. Did you watch it? Yeah, like three times that day. I just had it on repeat. It was great. Oh, wow, that's good. <laughs> it's a good movie. Um, yeah, so and I. Uh, good morning. Um, I ended up going to Disneyland. <laughs> that was pretty crazy. That, uh, was, you had uh, a much better day. that was on Groundhog Day. So I did not watch Groundhog Day. Six more weeks of winter. So does that mean that he saw his shadow or that he didn't see his shadow? It means he did. And does it mean that... Okay, it, it, but it's rare when he doesn't see his shadow? That's what I understand, yeah. So, okay, yeah. <laughs> I kind of don't know or care, but um, yeah, I, I'll watch the movie and enjoy my, my day. Yeah, it's a weird little tradition, isn't it? <laughs> it's really weird. I wonder if it was, what it makes me think of is it's like a very regional thing that it used to be maybe, or I don't, I don't know. I, we should look into the history of this because like that it's in one place, is this one beaver, is he a beaver? <laughs> No. <laughs> I apparently know nothing about this. <laughs> Good morning. Is he a beaver? <laughs> no, the groundhog. <laughs> the beaver. <laughs> uh, yeah, I I guess I know nothing about this this holiday. <laughs> the more I talk, the more it's uh, revealed. <laughs> Mm, uh -oh. Your youngest turned 14 on Groundhog's Day. So, it, it, you know, it, it's such a, a non-holiday yeah. that, that I've never seen a Groundhog Day cookie. So, oh, uh, yeah, is I that have. A thing? I don't think that's yeah, a thing. Yeah, that's a thing. No way. Definitely. I have definitely seen Groundhog Day cookies. Oh, no. Yeah. Not a lot, but I've definitely seen it. Mm. Yeah, okay. that's bizarre. <laughs> uh, oh, see right there. I got. I got to see a picture then. Yeah, I see a picture of those. That's for sure. You need to see that. Yeah, we need to do some. Uh, some. I need to do a. Oh wow! A little. Uh, diving into that holiday, seeing what the heck it is about, because. <laughs> Um, what else? Oh yeah, so so I went to Disneyland with my son on Groundhog's Day. Did not see any groundhogs there or any mention of Groundhog's Day, but um, is it, it is it singular or is it plural? Groundhog, Groundhog Day, Day Groundhog's Groundhog Day. Day. I think it's Groundhog, like Hog possessive, because yeah. it's only there's only one Puxatani Phil, and so if you if if a Groundhog in Wyoming sees his shadow he's irrelevant this is not groundhog phil, phil is representative of all groundhogs yes yeah puxatawney phil <laughs> you're not fancy i would make it any quantity for all work oh that's cute that's cute yeah that's fun that's good great. morning everyone um since it is a new month that means we have a new project <laughs> I don't think so. 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think you'll ever catch me doing a, I mean, yeah, unless, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, to, to do a set for a, like of of the movie like elements oh yeah yeah it was a it's a, on broadway too or it was it, i don't think it is anymore it was a broadway show you know no, it's not on broadway anymore but we saw it my hair is driving me crazy today. yes we can see it it was pretty wild my hair is crazy what's that wait what wait what is who's Who's Balzac Billy? Yeah, what's that all about? It sounds like, like the name of the Billy Goat in um in Chicago, the curse of the, the Billy Goat. That what is happening to this? <laughs> curse of the of the goat. There was a, a goat that came into or that was in Wrigley Field. Oh my gosh, I'm going to mess it up. I'm going to mess up the story. But it's it so it's it's the curse of the Billy Goat. This Billy Goat came into to Wrigley Field okay. in Chicago. And the, the 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 goat owner was told you have to leave. You, you you can't bring a Billy Goat to the baseball game. And okay. so upon leaving, he cursed the field and said you'll never win another championship. Oh. And so that was in like 19, was it 1915? And they hadn't won another championship for 101 years. So it was Powerful. something ridiculous like that. But that Powerful was, goat there. Yeah. So they call it the curse of the, the Billy goat. Wow. I, wow. I could have completely messed up that story, by the way. <laughs> I, and odds are I did. So um, where's Penny Napic when, uh, when yeah. you need when you need the Cubs history yes. lesson. Oh, good morning. Good morning. It sounds like we're giving ourselves homework for research projects here. We need to find out about the curse of the Billy Goat. We need to find out the Groundhog's Day origins. <laughs> Groundhog Day. It's it, it I swear, is it is it plural? I gotta look this up like right now because it's bothering me. Cause I say Groundhog's Day. Did I say that? Yes. <laughs> Don't he's listen to me, obviously. Groundhog, singular. Oh. He's, he's ugly. The, the groundhog is kind of ugly. Those are weird teeth. <laughs> and how are there that many people there? There, it's There's like thousands and thousands of people at Groundhog Hollow or whatever it's called. <laughs> <laughs> Puck the <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh. Yeah, not yeah, plural. plural. Just, just Groundhog Day in general. But there's only one that we listen to. But the thing is, hearing hearing Liz say it, I, I'm like, wait, am I wrong? <laughs> I might be wrong. So I have to check these things out and just make sure and go to the Google machine to make sure that that I'm not I'm not in the wrong. I I never pretend I know what I'm talking about. He's a human <laughs> groundhog. Wait a second. <laughs> Human groundhog who comes out to see a shadow and bows like Alberta. Wait, this is a Canadian thing, though, right? This is—is this—is this? This is. It, does he play hockey? Does I just does, love the term human groundhog? <laughs> does Balzac Billy play hockey or wear a toque? Because the human groundhog, <laughs> Balzac Billy, the human groundhog. Yeah. Wow. It's Wait, Woodstock Willie. Who are these? These are these are I other groundhogs. No, no, no! Come on. Okay, we are all like definitely falling down the rabbit hole. But it it totally makes sense though. Oh, see, Nikki, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> Wait, okay, so it makes sense to have more than one groundhog. The whole one groundhog thing and everybody listening to the same groundhog is weird because different regions would have different weather patterns but you can't have like the start of winter on one day and then the start of well they do day. though the official start of winter and the, you know this the first day of spring is is on the calendar that's that's a that's a set thing <laughs> in quebec when they went to check their gonna <gasps> no so what does that mean so now instead of it being the animal, it's the human Billy Balzac or <laughs> Balzac Billy. 
So that's not a good sign. So that means winter forever. <laughs> he died the eve of Groundhog's, Groundhog's Day. I can't not say it. Why is that? Woodstock is where Groundhog Day was filmed. So they have okay. Woodstock Willie. Uh, yeah, that's funny. You know what the sequel should be called? Groundhog's Day. <laughs> Groundhog apostrophe S day. Groundhog's Day. Texas has an armadillo. He cave Bob. Texas. Come on. That's so cute. Texas. An armadillo. I listen to an armadillo. <laughs> over over Groundhog. Or something? Like it's like a, you know, it's like a huge pill bug. Yeah, it's definitely the weirdest animal ever. Armadillo. Wow. Weird. Armadillo Day. What would we have to represent our area? That's what that's what I was saying. Maybe maybe a, a, a little otter, like a sea otter. Oh. That'd be cool. A deer. A deer? How boring is that? <laughs> Dog, it's dog day. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, okay, so it's February. Oh, Incredible, all to say it's February. I love hearing about the other animals, I think that's interesting. Um, so February, yeah, new month of uh homework. It has only been a couple days, mm -hmm. so we only have a couple homeworks turned in. That's right. So, uh, what does our project look like this month? It's a little, a little crazy. All right, yo, here you go. Yeah. Oh my gosh! It ought to be six more weeks of winter. Hawaiian <laughs> on stick. These are good names. What? You're getting ahead of me here. So yes, I, I am. All right. So, what what are y'all talking about? The other the the possible names. It otter be <laughs> and how does an otter see his shadow? Really, he sees his reflection in the water. Yeah, yeah exactly. Maybe maybe the otter brings six more weeks of summer. <laughs> yeah, we we listened to the otter in the first Wyerton day. Wyerton Willie. Wyerton Willie, Eastern Canada, and a. Is that supposed to say lobster? Yeah, I I'm going to go with lobster. <laughs> the lobster sees his shadow? That's, that's great. Is a lobster just a smaller lobster? Why <laughs> <laughs> hogs today? That was good. <laughs> the curse? Oh, ah, there, we go. there you go. Yep. It's a curse that was supposedly placed in the Chicago 45. Cubs. 45. Billy Goat Tavern owner William Sanus. 71 years. Yeah, so, okay, but it wasn't, no, no, no. It wasn't the Billy Goat Tavern beforehand. No, 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 no. Oh, it was turned into Billy Goat Tavern? It's wrong. The Google machine is wrong. So the it wasn't the Billy Goat Tavern beforehand. It, it was named the Billy Goat Tavern because of the curse of the Billy Goat. So, yeah, I, I swear it. I, I swear it. He brought it to bring good luck, but then he was mad, and he's like, I changed my mind. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Now I got to do I got to do more research. <laughs> you guys are giving me homework. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is, this is included. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> good morning. Good morning, yeah. Aaron. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Buckeye Chuck. Buckeye Chuck. Ohio, there. That's that's Ohio right there. Buckeye, Buckeye Chuck. That's fun. This is this is weird. I and I picture a lot of these guys looking like, uh, oh, what's the 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 Flyers mascot? Oh, I got. Uh, okay, wait. I, I'll share that. I will share that because he's he's crazy. And then Laura says, "Well, guess what? The curse is over now." mascot yeah. what's that gritty, gritty. Is the, gritty is the flyers mascot and he is a freak show he is an absolute freak show he's awesome what is it it's gritty the what oh gritty the gritty that's there's no there's there's what's no a, way to here let me let what's me a gritty 
I okay, hold on. A, a gritty is gritty. is bizarre. He's this orange beast of a of a guy, and okay, and he he isn't a he it, like it's hard to de to describe. So I, I just have to show him. He's a made up creature. Yes, um, gritty. gritty. This is this is gritty, and he is mm -hmm. weird. That's gritty right Ew. there. I think I've seen videos. Oh yeah, he's so yeah. creepy. He goes. He's he's awesome. He's like the best mascot in in hockey, and he's with the Philadelphia Flyers. When he was he was, uh, I guess, introduced. He's everybody's like, "What is this guy?" And he is. He puts all other mascots to shame. He's really fantastic. But that this is what I figure. All of these Buckeye Bill and the the Balzac the Billy and and everybody look like this is. This guy should see his shadow. We should all defer to Gritty. Huh. huh. Yeah. Wow. Yep. That's 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 where my brain goes. It's 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 a weird it's a it's a weird land in there. Gritty is a gritty. <laughs> is. That's that's what he is. That <laughs> Tommy Hawk. Oh, you you Chicagoans. <laughs> is that the right phrase, Chicagoans? Ch Ch Chicagoans. Chicagoans. Ch Ch I I'm gonna go Chicagoans. Chicagoans. That sounds, that sounds a little <laughs> a little better. Um, <laughs> see, my teams my teams are old school. We don't need we don't need some some mascot to lean on. It's old school. Dodgers, the Lakers. You don't need that. You don't see a big lake walking around. Hmm. Dodge. You have no dodge. But isn't there a Dodgers guy? Nope. Absolutely nothing. Nope. I'm trying to picture, and I'm like, I've never seen a little furry guy walking around. So in the 80s, the mm -hmm. the uh, the the LA Zoo got in koalas uh, for the first time, and mm -hmm. at that time, the, the, like koalas were all a rage in in Los Angeles. So mm -hmm. in at Dodger Stadium, they started selling little koalas <laughs> with the Dodgers T-shirt. And at that time, people were thinking, oh, is this going to be a new mascot? Which that, would make zero that would make zero sense. sense. Yeah. Like a, a, a koala. Come on, people. But yeah. yeah, that's as close as the Dodgers uh, have ever gotten to an actual mascot. Yeah. Yeah. The, the Dodger dog is <laughs> a Dodger dog. Yeah. That's, that's the mascot. The mascot. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Dem Bums. Yeah. The, the, so the bums, they, yeah. they were always referred to the nickname of Dem Bums when they were in Brooklyn. But. Yeah. The bad guys. <laughs> Dancing Barry. Who's Dancing Barry representing? Dancing Barry? The an no. See, the, the angels have have their, uh, the, the, the monkey, the rally monkey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's cute. Yeah. And that just was happenstance too. That was that was something that happened once, and then they went, "Oh, hey, we won, so let's keep with it." Yeah, yeah, it's a no. superstition thing. Rally monkey, is that Barry? Is that the monkey's name? I don't think so. I think it's just Rally Monkey. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give him a name. You don't think? Huh. All right. So I have a couple of homeworks before. <laughs> like this is this is probably your the strangest live but <laughs> it's a strange day you know this is this is the homework here are a couple of other shots of different cookies from now we go we go all over the place yes and these are the the, the set this month is just uh, absolutely gorgeous this is i love that that cameo little framey guy up there framey guy yeah yeah all right. I like, and the one, have, I like the one before that this uh the picture before. I think that one. Yeah, that one. I don't know. It just looks like those petals are real. Yeah, that, that's absolutely beautiful. So we have two homeworks that have been turned in. So oh, okay. The first is Janice Ezzo. Oh my gosh, how cute. Beautiful. It's just yeah. it, he's I, I don't think people can go wrong with this this month. It's so yeah. pretty. And, it's so uh, beautiful. It looks like illustrated kind of. I don't know. It's so pretty. And Very she fantastic. said that she didn't get the uh, the isomalt 
for oh. uh, for that isomalt look like right there yeah um, but she it, it, it was it was ordered and um when i was talking with you earlier today you said that yeah. that that isomalt isn't necessarily like required not required yeah yeah um because we go in so many different directions um the requirement for homework credit purposes is turning into three fabulous floral cookies that you know that uses the the techniques and tools and or not tools but techniques and, and skills that, that are taught um which if you don't have specific tools or isomalt it can be difficult and dangerous so i i understand like if you don't have the right parts for isomalt i don't want people doing isomalt you know because there are certain things it's really easy to get burnt with isomalt if you're not careful um so janice said i ordered a, a semi sim semi isomalt semi semi cakes isomalt and uh but was anxious to play with the paper por portion so yeah. um so she she really wanted to get into it and and they look great Th those were yeah. great really story. cute and then the next one is becky norton oh and becky so so good so good and she <sighs> said i'm in love with this set thank you liz for another phenomenal tutorial though that's beautiful good job yeah really be look at it's a plumeria there that's a that's a totally different flower isn't that so cool like just by how you arrange the petals it's gonna look so different and then check out that 3d rose like it's yes. got a pressed one did you did you use um your your uh Sizzix, your your die cut for that becky so cool oh that's my goodness cool. that's great that is great yeah so little, little roses, huh? So those are the two homeworks that have been turned in so far. It's it's beautiful. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's, well, well you saw you saw your homework, so you were you, on time. Mark, you tardy, Becky. <laughs> Just kidding. Yeah, you did. So yeah, that's a whole new world for me. Now that I, I kind of ignored it forever, and all of a sudden now I'm like. Okay, what do I need? <laughs> Paper potion cause ink to run. I used it before I painted, so I don't know if I did it if, if I would to do it the other way around if it would, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not positive about that. But the reason I use it is be so I can paint on it better. And so it takes the, the food coloring better. So I would definitely do it before you paint anyway. Um but if you do it before, like I did, it didn't it didn't run. It just makes it more. Uh, what should I say? Um, it just takes the color better, and it's it makes it hold up to the moisture better, especially for the wafer. Yeah. Oh, and Becky says no because Becky's worked with it a lot. She's worked with a lot of edible papers and stuff. It won't cause the ink to run. That's good to know. Yeah, that stuff's magic. <laughs> It's it's called potion for a reason. It is magic. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. And it is. Anyway, I mean, try it both ways. Try it all. Do all kinds of stuff with it. This is an experiment month, you know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that scared me. Yeah. Grit, once, once you introduce Gritty, once you let him in, he doesn't leave. That's, that's Gritty. Now that you're showing that video, I do remember seeing some some little quick footage of him like dancing really crazy and it's like this oh. whole i don't know it's hilarious i was like what is that ridiculous. yeah so so where where are those those gritty cookies uh uh philadelphia i bet there are some oh there has to be <laughs> there has to be gritty cookies i am thinking of another mascot that's really weird and i don't know what he is he's uh he's fanatic fanatic green guy and is that ph fanatic yes. Uh huh. For Philly, and he's just a fanatic too. Like there's, he's just a made up creature. Now Philly has some some funky mascots, man. Yeah. Now at the Eagles games, there is the, the, there's an eagle, but he's an like eagle. a live eagle. Yeah. Um, every once in a while, they they will have a live eagle fly into the stadium, and That's it, cool. it, that is that is pretty awesome. But so uh, a person with falcons is a falconer. Does that mean you're an eagler? I guess so. If you are an eagle person, 
like eagle or I like that. There must be a different word, a name for me. Um, so th there's your Philly fanatic. Yeah. Is that what you were thinking of? Yeah, yeah. But okay. the thing is, is he's um, his eyes are stationary, which makes him not look as crazy as Gritty. Well, know? yeah, Gritty's eyes are, are they bounce around and stuff. Which he's is brilliant because no other mascots eyes do that it makes him extra kooky fly eagle fly yes my uh, i think l we talked about it uh lat oh see okay so 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 now uh, now i i get to issue some homework of making gritty cookies um yeah the googly eyes make it right send them to me that's great it's gritty's all about the googly eyes yes <laughs> okay, yeah, that's so cute. I, that's right. So many, there were so many great ideas with that one. The are, Texans. I have a friend who is moving from. Why are we talking so much about Philly? Um, but he's <laughs> he's he's going from the Philadelphia Union, which is the 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 soccer team, mm. and he he's now going over to the the Houston Texans and got and uh, is going to be working with them starting in a couple of weeks so big transition big change but hopefully that team's going to turn around because man that's that was a sad team to watch this year so the texans mascot are themselves um it they have like a uh a, a, a steer um skull kind of on their helmet yeah it just it just is Weird. But what's their mascot? It's that they don't have a, a mascot per se. So, yeah, that cool. that I can that I could think of. Feel left out. Those. Yeah, take, <laughs> you know, yeah, they, yeah, yeah they do. They're getting some. They're getting some. Well, it, Kansas it, City Wolf. Yep. What's the, what team is that? What sport is that? Which one? The, the Wolves. The wolf? Oh, that's uh, the Casey Wolf is uh, the the Chiefs mascot. Oh, the Chiefs, yeah. That that wolf oh. that's in the back that that that's always in the back of the end zone with the big belly that's kind of that bops around. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah, it's a bull. That's right. It's a so it's bull. A like bull. Uh, yeah. Longhorn. Yes. Like a Texas Longhorn. Kind of. Yeah. I, I'm. I love all the all the sports talk today. <laughs> We have some longhorns uh, along our freeway here, and people always stop because they're so, so cool. Um, yeah, they're pretty, pretty awesome looking. Right. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll throw you the the uh, the the Texans logo so you know what, <laughs> what I'm talking about. There you go. Uh, okay, yeah, because I was picturing the other one, the college one, right? Oh, the, the 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 Longhorns, hook them, hook them horns. Yeah, right. the uh, uh, University of Texas. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> and yes, Aaron, it's Carl. <laughs> Who's Carl? Oh, uh, your friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cool. Your oh, friend would write. Ah, that's that's awesome. cool. I love it when they have the yeah when they have this like majestic animal you know yeah it's neat yeah Marky. there's there's Bevo the B, Bevo is a buffalo who is <laughs> Bevo the buffalo is a real buffalo yeah um for the the University of Colorado oh, okay and, and they're and they run that that crazy buffalo across the field to start the game <laughs> I've seen that. have these like eight handlers on uh, on these ropes or, around bevo but th that thing will just keep rolling yeah huh. yeah we're talking now, about mascots is, a lot today bevo is is with with the uh bevo mascot yeah i, I just i gotta clarify no bevo is the longhorn with the university of texas Oh man, he's run through the, the the tunnel and yeah, it's it's awesome. That's Bebo. Do you know mascot names, Sage? No. Who's I the know. mascot for Dodgers? We, we don't really have Mookie. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I don't really have uh, no Vince Gully. Well, Vince Gully. That's the one. 
Yeah. In Scully. <clears throat> no, I know Bailey on the Broncos. Um, and that's like the only one. <laughs> Cause Bailey's Bailey has a jersey. And- yeah, there's Bailey, who is also the the lion that is the mascot for the uh for the L.A. Kings. Oh. And there's Bevo. Look at Bevo. Oh, oh he's so pretty. There's Bevo. Aww. Thank you. Speaking of mascots, Pumpkin has Pumpkin. joined us this morning. Hello. Oh, she's mad. She's fine. Yes, Benny the Bull for the <laughs> Chicago Bulls. Benny. Benny is a great mascot. He's he's awesome. You think Benny would be the one for the Jets? Just kidding. <laughs> ah, oh, very nice. <clears throat> yes. Black horse and masked rider. Oh. Yeah, there are some really cool college mascots. Yeah. The yeah. Seminoles have have a, uh, a, a, a a native warrior who comes out to the fifty yard line with a spear and. Throws a spear into the into the the, the field. It's Turf, really yeah, I, I feel like I've ever seen, seen that. that. I've seen videos of it. Yeah, there's a lot of lore and tradition. <clears throat> Some yeah. of the sometimes it's like, wait, that makes zero sense. An <laughs> elephant, you know, <laughs> for, for the University of Alabama. <laughs> yeah, just different ones. I'm like, what? Yeah, that's weird. But yeah, there's always like this cool history when you look into it. It's pretty nifty. Yeah, I'm a devil. I went to ASU. What's the history? <laughs> Send up history. his name, Sparky. Yeah, Sparky. Yeah, Sparky. They they used to have a, it used to be a dog, and um and then it it evolved to 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 Sparky <clears throat> and a Hades there for half of the football season for no like three quarters of the football season. <laughs> What's Becky's mascot? Oh. Oh no, no, no. There's dancing berry maybe uh I oh, oh gosh. I got to look at this now. <laughs> send me. What did you what did you send my way? <laughs> dancing berry. Becky's uh mascot is a bee. I mean, that's the Oh, oh yeah. I right. guess, right? Emoji. emoji. Oh, oh my god, her. you guys are sending me groundhog pictures and all sorts of <laughs> what are you guys doing. This is a research project. They're helping. Oh my god. You guys are nuts. You guys are nuts. <laughs> Becky Norton's mascot should be a bee drinking Topo Chico. There's <laughs> It makes you think, though, doesn't it? What's your mascot? No, 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 no. There is no, there is no Lakers mascot. You you looked you looked him up. There is there there was a guy that 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 was dancing at some of the games. Uh, uh-uh. not. That's like one of those little fan things mascot. that like get get trendy for a while. <laughs> what was that dance troupe that like Shaq was a part of for a little bit? Oh, if, at the All Star game, that was the. Uh, Oh, with the, the white masks. The... Yeah. But I think there were several games, weren't they? Weren't they like kind of a thing? That's not right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And the, <laughs> but they're they're like a a a Vegas uh, performance troupe, that, it, not oh. uh, basketball. So, but it was the All Star game. They they came out and were um the, the oh that's driving me nuts. It's driving me nuts. <laughs> Yeah, my oh. mascot would definitely be a squirrel. A squirrel. Mm-hmm. Or a cat. Or tipsy. Yeah. Either a squirrel or tipsy. I know. I have we have talked about a mascot for Jabberwockies. Jabberwa- Jabberwockies. 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 Jabba. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no R. Yeah. It's not the Alice in Wonderland Jabberwockies. It's the white masked dancers jabba walkies <laughs> and what's our mascot it's the, the you had a mascot for a while didn't you the, well, the yeah yeah i had a suggestion call, but right it was like, the it was the magoonicorn the magoonicorn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the magoonicorn. but this guy is always hanging out too oh, oh hello 
Peapod. Little Peapod. <laughs> <laughs> He's <laughs> always watching. <laughs> He's always watching <laughs> of us here. I'm going to give you two. Who's your that personal is mascot? It. Oh. Catch that in the catch that in the next Freebie Friday. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah. There you go, Sage. <laughs> he just so cute. Look, he I like pet him. He goes underground, Sage. Oh, Pitsy, what do you think about Peapod? <laughs> Who's your yeah. personal mascot? Cookie Con. I don't know, guys. It's. <laughs> Everybody oh, wants to hang out. They want to have this conversation with everybody. So. For sure. For sure. Yeah. It's coming up fast. Now that it's already February. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Cookie cons right around the corner. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> he does have a rolling pin and little cookie dough with cookie dough on it. <laughs> And a paintbrush and a palette. He has a couple little <laughs> <laughs> accessories, but an apron. Yeah, that'd be cute. <laughs> hey, little peapot. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think. Uh, what, what do we have? Go oh, okay. <laughs> talked about mascots all day. Um, what's the the month uh, new deal for the the Magoobers this month? Oh yes. Yeah, did you love that, Kathy? Did you get some ideas? I was gonna put your your what not to do pictures in there, <laughs> but there were so many what to do that I was like, whoa, I need to <laughs> shorten this thing up. There were so many great ideas. I loved seeing everybody's face. I know I nerded out on it. I hope you guys did too. Paint palette, boom. Yeah. Yeah. You can use that a lot. Everybody always asks during in-person classes, they're like, what? paint palette do you use like is this pre-made you yeah. make it it's really cool i like how you get to personalize it yourself yeah you know a caffeinated squirrel yeah not just a normal squirrel <laughs> like the squirrel from over the head peapod is in honor of bob ross's pet squirrel that he had i <laughs> bob ross is like the, <laughs> he had a little i love that guy squirrel. he took care of a little um, orphaned a squirrel it and he named him Peapod. It. So, uh, it was so cute. <laughs> he would just sit there. He so, liked his yeah. daddy. Ours is in honor of Bob Ross's little little guy, Peapod. <laughs> Peapod was not brown or, or, or gray, though. He was brown. Well, it's okay. But it's okay. My next class is sold out. That's this Saturday. It's, um, yikes. I can't lose this Saturday. But there are other classes uh, throughout july that are scheduled so if you want to yeah. have an in-person class those are the dates you can go on the website yeah there's no pictures of <coughs> classes yet but we shall work right here. <laughs> yeah in the next day uh, today that's uh, <laughs> it's all coming up yeah i know bob ross there's something about that guy he's awesome he made you feel like you could do it you know i i try to channel bob ross because <laughs> He was a, he's a great artist, a great person. Lessons. Yeah. What a great theme. What a great, uh, yeah, little motto he had. Uh, so that's the, that's the deal for the month. Um, and I've heard of other people using it in other ways too, which is so cool. Like um, they'll have a palette that's just for a specific brand of food coloring oh. or like a specific group of colors, oh. which is really interesting. I, I think that's cool. I have mine set up with just my very favorite colors but it would be cool to be like these are my neutrals these are my brights you know how yeah. some um kind of commercially made palettes are set up yeah which is very cool like, these are all of my blue colors this is my red this is my you know i mean you have this like yeah that would be insane yeah um yeah. and i split some of my wells into in half so that because you know but mm -hmm. there's a lot of ways you can do it and then other people use their mr magoo's and spritz the whole thing and just get every color damp before they work with it, which is another thing I've never done. I think that's so smart. Um, and then you could also make it into a non-edible set of palette, a palette like for watercolors if you wanted to as well. I mean, there's, you know, if you, if you like to paint with watercolors. Thank you, Kathy. Um, <laughs> it's only the best in the world because you guys are the best community in the world. And that's what that's makes true. it worth it and and awesome and 
continuing that amazing amazingness right awesome people are always welcome to apply not awesome people that's okay you can go out. like i said you don't need to be an awesome cookier we can we can help you with that part but you gotta come in being a pretty awesome person you, you know you can become a more awesome person too mm -hmm. i mean the group. <laughs> oh you guys are the best you guys are the best um <clears throat> and i can't wait to see i don't know if you guys are scared of this month homework or not oh, but i, I hope think you have that's major fun intimidation with it. It is so, you will be shocked at how easy it is. Like I, <laughs> like as I'm teaching it, I'm like, this is almost embarrassingly easy <laughs> to get it's it to so look gorgeous. like that. It, it's like, I think people think that it takes a long time or a lot of precision or whatever. It mm -hmm. really doesn't. Yeah. You're going to be shocked. And that's what's going to be so fun. And that's why I went so nuts with it is because it was like, oh yeah. my gosh, you can do so many things with this. Also, I'm so excited to see other people's, yeah. you know, like how... You missed the, the homeworks. There's two and they were really? so different and so beautiful. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Look. Then it says, oh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Like, is that like an that's Alice in cool. Wonderland vibe? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Big time. And that's Becky Norton. Oh, look, look at how tight those tiny Aren't they beautiful? And look are. at the little ice wall guy. Oh, isn't my that so gosh. pretty? Oh, yeah. Oh man. Oh, yeah. I'm excited to see everyone's because they're all going to look so, so different. So different. Yeah. Some of them are going to be really vibrant colors. Some of them are going to be really pale. Some of them aren't even going to have like I'm so yeah. I, oh man, it's exciting. So Thank cool. So. Much. so yeah, can't wait to see uh, what you guys do with it. And um, <laughs> Gritty says, Gritty says, hey. Dude, he's funny. <laughs> I see so many videos of him on like TikTok and stuff. Was there something with him like either smashing a cake, something with food, like something kind of outlandish? <laughs> Oh yeah, um, he threw I, a cake in somebody's face. Um, I feel like I've seen that. He dropped a cake from the from the upper deck onto somebody else. It's just, <laughs> it's all coming back. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad. I hope you enjoyed doing those because man, that was they are beautiful. He interrupted. I enjoyed looking at them. One what? of the uh, one of the stadium like uh, uh, where where there's a proposal going on, and then he like <laughs> stood in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> He like moves his like because he has his like, a tummy, tummy, right? So it goes like this, but it looks so weird. <laughs> and then the googly eyes. It's the yeah, googly eyes. Right? Gotta look up gritty. He's the he is the <laughs> best mascot around. He's he's just hysterical. Huh. I am excited to see what you do, Kathy. You have all your supplies now. Oh yeah. Oh, that's a great idea. I yeah. I, I I may have to 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 beg for for one of those the the, the apron patches because if somebody makes a gritty cookie, <laughs> they, they they may need an apron patch. <laughs> Do we need a gritty cookie? Hmm, it doesn't sound tasty. <laughs> a gritty, Ew, gritty cookie. Sandy. <laughs> All right, friends, thanks for hanging out with us every Monday. Or if it was your first Monday, thanks for joining us. Uh, it's sometimes this weird, sometimes not, <laughs> sometimes weirder. Uh, but <laughs> always fun to chat, see where our conversation goes. It's great. Um, and thanks again for you guys for being in the expert lab. Make sure to watch the expert lab. Uh, it's super inspiring. If you're looking for ways to organize your cookie cutters, there are so many great ideas, great resources. Um, I, I know it will inspire a lot of people to either change up what they're doing or improve what they're doing or make them go like, no, what I'm doing works for me, you know? Uh, so it's, it's a great segment. Expert guests, a lot of you. Um, and then mixing it up, we have uh, Rachel from Australia. You want to watch that too. She's so fantastic. Uh, gives us a, a little peek into what it looks like at the Akeda Australian uh, decorating show. That's She's awesome. so great. So sweet. And uh, yep, check out all the segments. Great stuff at Magoo U every month. Man, crazy. Peapod. Peapod is ready for his nap in my hair. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you next Monday and hopefully see some more homework. Guys. Yeah. Get playing. <laughs> um, and in the